Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Little Bookish Teacher, and today I have a picture book review for you. This book is Lost and Found by Natalie Champanier, and this was sent to me by the author for review, and I had a really great time reading it. So as I said, it's written by Natalie, and it is illustrated by David Pavan, and it was released at the end of December in 2022. It is the author's debut title. She is a screenwriter in Los Angeles, and she has also worked as a family therapist, and the book draws on her experiences working with children who are in the foster care system, or who are going through adoption processes and she really wanted to write a story that highlighted the determination and courage and friendship and the search for love that these children have. So Lost and Found tells the story of a bunch of toys who are lost at a summer camp and left behind by their original owners and they end up in the Lost and Found storage shed and collectively they decide that they don't want to stay there they want to go out and they want to search for their forever home. So the synopsis of the story is forgotten toys at a summer campground and tossed into the camps Lost and Found but Dino Boy refuses to spend his days on a shelf he sets out to escape and find a home for himself. A ballerina, a hippo, and a mood ring tag along on this great adventure to find where they belong. These four characters band together and they get out of the storage shed and they're on their way to find new homes for themselves where they can be loved. And there are many hiccups along the way and ultimately at the end they do find those forever homes and it is a beautiful heartwarming story in that sense. What I really loved about this book was the beautiful rhyming narrative throughout the story. There are bright bold pictures that are engaging for younger audiences. This one is probably written more for your maybe three to eight age range in picture books not to say that you can't extend it because you absolutely can but that would probably be the target age group for this book. I loved the friendship between these characters, their determination to work together and to help each other out when things don't go right because that is a really powerful message to send to children. It's a very gentle book and it has a lovely positive message for readers which I think is really important in a story like this and it also demonstrates a lot of care and empathy for children who are going through the process of foster care or, or adoption and recognizing and sharing those stories because you don't often see them. And we as adults know that that process is not always smooth sailing and to be able to have that discussion with other children as well to help generate empathy and care for everyone is really really important. So thank you very much again to the author for sending me this review title. I will leave it linked down below so that you can check it out. It is available on Kindle Unlimited. You can also get it in paperback and hardback form. If you want to let me know that you're here but you don't want to leave a comment feel free to leave a dinosaur emoji down below. Otherwise feel free to share any of your thoughts on the book. I hope that wherever you're on the world you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.